When I'm flying, I feel absolutely fantastic. I feel like the world just kind of slips away. There's just something about looking out the window of a cockpit and seeing places you've been by car, places you've walked, and places you've always wanted to see from a completely different angle. And then you look down and you see all the controls and you're like, wow, I know what this is, I know what this means, I know how to check the air pressure. We're flying like 36,000 feet off the ground, that's crazy. Love for aviation began when I was about 17 years old. My dad asked what I wanted for my birthday and I thought it'd be really, really cool to fly a plane before I drove my first car. That was it, the first plane, and I was hooked. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be a pilot. Specifically, the piloting career path I'd like to go in is commercial flying. A lot of people go through an academy, like an integrated course, you would do it over the span of about two years. It's all 14 modules first, and then as soon as you've passed all of those, you're free to start your single engine flight training as well as um, some simulator cockpit experience. You know, it costs, you know, anywhere around like 80 to 110, 120 grand for the entire integrated course. I am affording the financial aspect of training via three jobs, so I'd work 12 hours a day, five days a week. And then I'd work six hours on the weekend, and then if I ever had a day off on one of the jobs, I'd work a third job. So I've been saving up for a few years now, but it wouldn't be anywhere near enough. So I'm going to be taking out a second mortgage on my house. So I'll probably be paying about three, four hundred pound a month. So the obstacles that I have come across in terms of trying to get to the academy varies from eyesight height eyesight height to be a pilot you do not have to have perfect vision however you can only have up to minus six with my eyesight personally i found i had minus seven in one eye minus eight you know myopia in the other and another issue i have faced height their requirements of 85 90% of academies are a minimum height of five foot two. As I went to obtain my medical one certificate, they found I was just under five foot one, so a little over an inch under the minimum requirements. My first choice academy declined my place after passing the assessment purely because of my height. Um, and I had asked if there was anything else I could do um, because I didn't want to lose my place at, you know, my top choice academy. Um, they said there wasn't, so they wished me the best of luck on my journey, whichever way I uh, managed to get through there. I said, thank you. They hung up and I sat in my bed and went, fuck. I pursued my seventh choice academy who said my height wasn't an issue they were happy to take on shorter pilots it just meant in future I would not be able to fly the much larger airlines that could hold hundreds of people just the slightly smaller planes I've had to resort to a contact lens surgery and once the academy received my medical certificate and everything's fine put down my deposit and I've signed all the legal documents and things they or basically call me or send me an email uh, to confirm my place and I move by February.